What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Olight Arcfeld. Yep, I'm actually doing a flashlight review, but it's not your typical flashlight review. So if you're looking for specs and all that, it's not going to be in this video. This is going to be more about the form, form factor of this light and why I think it's the perfect EDC for me. And maybe for some of you guys who want to carry a light but don't like the bulk of those big round lights. This is a flat design, which is very cool. It's very different. And I think you're going to see a lot of manufacturers making these flat style lights moving forward in the future. Now, I do got a ton of O-lights. I didn't do flashlight videos in the past just because, you know, I just found it redundant. I mean, how many times can you go over a light and say, you know, look at this beam, how it shoots, you know, goes through these three modes and all this crap. It's just the same thing beating to death on, on YouTube. So I never did uh, videos on it. But as you'll see, I got a ton of O-lights. Here's some of the boxes from some of them I have that I've dug up. They're all over the house. And over here I have in the Pelican style case, we got the big Olight Javelin. That thing throws a beam from here to the moon. It's just fantastic. So I have a ton of lights. I just didn't do a lot of videos on them because, again, it's just redundant on the Internet. They're done a million times on YouTube, so I just never got in that game. But this light really perked my interest when it came out because of the style. It's a flat design. It's like a knife. It's like carrying a knife in your pocket. So my son got one from his girlfriend for Christmas. I checked his out, and once I had it in hand, I knew I had to have it. So I did order one. And I ordered another one, too, which we'll go over on the bench in a, in a second here. But just a great light. Very happy I popped on it. And I'm looking forward to see what Olight does with this flat design in the future. But with that out of the way, guys, let's jump down. Let's take a look at this Olight Arkfeld. All right, so here we are with the Olight Arkfeld. This one is done in the flat, dark earth. And this is the current variation I've been carrying for the past two months since I got it. This rides in my right front pocket next to my Benchmade bug out. And as you can see, it's got some scarring on it from right in next to the bench made bug out it does have a deep carry pocket clip it sticks up a little bit but not much you got your magnetic back to charge it and this also stick to metal so if you want to lock this on something and use the light let's take a look at the bezel this is your laser this is your light but we're not going to get too much into, the, into this just yet i did pick something else up i picked up from their flash sale the new version of this arc field in the pinwheel color they did give you a single output keychain flashlight with it, which was a nice touch. But let's take a look. If you guys want to pause it and take a look at the all the specifications, you can do that here. Let's open up the packaging. I only opened this just to take a quick look at it. It's very tight in here in this plastic. I got this in nice thick plastic. And here it is, the pinwheel version. Now on the other side, of course you get your magnetic charger for the back. I got a ton of these, as you've seen, I have a ton of O-lights. Your instructions, and that's going to do it for the packaging. So let's get that out of the way. Let's get these two back in here. This one is this one is in the cool white, and I ordered this one in the neutral white, because I prefer the neutral warm look, the warm light. But before we get into that, I will go over a couple of things on this quickly. Right now, as you can see, It'll show you your, what you have left for your battery. Once you push the button, if you switch it to laser or light, that battery indicator will come up. But what I like on this is if you put it in your pocket and you're worried about pushing the button and the thing going on, is you turn it on, cycle through your mode, shut it off, hold down this button. You'll see your moonlight come on and it'll shut off. So now if I push the power button, you're just going to see that red light come on. So this is in lockout mode. So no matter how much you hit this button, it's not going to come back on until you hold it. You'll see the moonlight come on, and then you can cycle through your modes or put your laser on. And then again, like I said, you can see the, the output, what's left of your battery. I got three bars on this one. Let's see how Olight shipped this one. This one has three bars as well. Also in the green laser. And this one's in the warm white, which it's hard to tell. It's, it's a little bit off from the cool white. It's not a huge noticeable difference, but definitely a difference. I do prefer that. So just depending on what I'm carrying, I'll, you know, I'll probably carry this one from time to time. But this is my primary work light. And why this is the perfect EDC, for me anyway, is the form factor. I love the fact that this is a flat style flashlight. And I think this is the new, I think this is going to be the new thing going forward with flashlight companies, hopefully for Olight. Anyway, I know Nikkor, Nikkor makes a EDC 27. Surefire's done a flat light as well. But I think this is the way of the future because it just rides like a pocket knife because of how thin it is. It is a little thicker back here because they had to accommodate for the charging port in the back, but not a deal breaker. I think going forward, maybe they'll, they can address that and maybe make a different attachment for these flat lights. But definitely, 
digging these flat designs and i think this is the perfect edc for me again we're going to go over it in a second why i think this is okay for me for my job what i do i'm an inspector i you know inspect plumbing work and stuff so when i'm going down into a basement obviously i need a flashlight but also if i want to point something out to a client i can point with the pointer you know this valve needs to be changed you need to move this over there and obviously being in dark locations you need a flashlight so for me on a daily basis this is nice to have and versus a round light that's just too bulky in your pocket and you don't want to carry it this slim slim design of these lights just makes it a dream to carry uh, one thing i would approve upon if i was olight is the pocket clip it's good it's fine in the front pocket but if I were to put this in the back pocket, I wouldn't trust it because it would push up and there's just not enough tension on the clip to hold it in there. I would like to see them use an ulti clip or if I can rig an ulti clip on here, that'd be real nice. But yeah, just uh, I'd approve upon the clip and maybe if they can get rid of this round, this big back where the round charging port goes, if they can make that slim and maybe make a different charging port, I'd be okay with that. But other than that, for me, this is the perfect EDC for the form factor. Again, it rides like a pocket knife. Uh, there's... Tons of variations of these lights so far, different colors and combos. I'll probably pick up more of these in the future because, again, I just think it's a fantastic design, being slim like a pocket knife, and the output on these are, are, are great. All right, so without beating a horse to death here on these lights, I just think, again, that this is a, a perfect EDC for me and my carry situation, for my EDC. You know, your mileage may vary. You may prefer carrying a round light. I do like the round lights. They do have their purpose, but I just think for me, on a daily carry, for an everyday carry, this flat design is awesome. And I, like I said, I think this is going to be the way of the future for a lot of light companies moving forward. And I hope so, because again, you got the night cores in on the game now with the EDC 27. They have um, an LED, an OLED screen on there to, you know, to track all your, your lumen output, your battery, all that stuff. Uh, Surefire has done one. Obviously, night core, I mean, uh, Olight here has done one. So I'm hoping to see more manufacturers jump in the game here. I also have another light that I was sent from Wuben. They're a new brand uh, up and coming. I got one light from them. Uh, they have some funky designs too. I'm hoping to get some more lights from them because the round lights, you know, they've been around forever. I mean, they're kind of done to death. They have their purpose, but I think, you know, we can get into these flat situation lights and I just think it's a better, better form of carry, at least on your persons anyway. Round lights are great to throw in your car, throw in a cupboard, on your boat, whatever, a camper. I mean, those are great, but on your person, the slimmer, the more flat you can make this so it's more comfortable to carry i think that's the way to go yeah so again i just think it's it's the perfect edc with being so close to a pocket knife and the way it rides in your pocket you'd much rather be carrying this versus a round light trust me it just it's a night and day difference once you once you go to a flat light like this arc felt i don't think you'll ever go back to the round style but just overall just a great light from old light very happy with the arc felt and i got both the cool white and the neutral white now so we'll see how it goes see which one i like better and I probably will get a few more variations of this in the future. All right, guys, that's it. Just a quick look at the o Olight Arkfeld. Now we're going to hop out for some final thoughts. All right, so some final thoughts on the Olight Arkfeld. In my book, guys, it's a home run. This design is just fantastic. The form factor of this and the way it carries in the pocket is just awesome. I can't wait to see what Olight does in the future if they come out with different iterations of this particular style. I can't wait to see other manufacturers improve on this particular flat style. I think it's going to be the way of the future for flashlights for sure. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Slap a like on the video. It helps me out. And we'll see you guys in the next one.